Hey everyone, in this quick video I will show you how to add interactive questions directly inside your video lessons using Master Study LMS so your students can take mini tests during the video and check their understanding as they go. First, open the video lesson where you want to add questions. At the top you will see a section called Markers and Questions. Right below the video, there is a setting that says require answering all video questions to continue. If you want to make sure students can move on without answering, just enable the toggle. Totally optional but helpful if you want them to stay focused. Now, let's talk about the two buttons below the video. The first one is Add Marker. Markers let you divide your video into sections like chapters on YouTube so students can easily navigate. Click it and you will be asked to enter marker name and its timestamp. Let's say we call the first one intro and set it at the 5 second mark. Now add another one and name it activating the grades add-on. and set the time to 25 seconds, let's say. That's safe. If you look at the video now, you will see it's divided into sections. When you hover over them, their names appear. Now, we create a question for the video. For that, we use a second button named Add Question. You can place questions right inside your video so learners stay engaged and actually interact with the content. Adding questions inside the video works almost the same way as creating regular quiz questions for your course. Let's go with a sample question. What is the intro about? There are two time-related fields here. Timecode is when the question will pop up in the video. The watch time code lets students rewind the parts where they can find the answer. Let's set the time code to 3 minutes and rewatch time code to 2 minutes. So I keep a single choice question here. Add a few sample answers like plugins, add-ons, and themes. Let's create another question too. For question, I will write, what is the main purpose of the master study plugin? Set the time code to 5 minutes and rewatch time code to 3 minutes. And for the answers, creating blogs, managing online learning, and hosting video calls. That's enough for now. Now watch what happens. The video now has a question marker too. When the video hits that time, it will pause and show the question on screen. You can answer or skip it, but remember, if you check the require answers option earlier, it's needed to answer all questions to finish. Let's check the next question too. You can also check which questions were passed and which were failed from the list. If you have skipped any question, you can always jump back and if your answer is wrong, there is a button to rewatch that specific part.
Once all questions are done and submitted, you are good to go. That's it, we have just added an interactive layer to a video lesson and made it way more engaging. Do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.